My name's Jane Moore and I'm a professional gardener, but today I'm inviting you into my garden to show you a few ideas, hints and tips of what to do to get your garden blooming brilliantly this spring. Of course, I've already done a bit of planting already this spring. Um, I've put in this dogwood where I took out a shrub in the winter. But I've left a few of these other plants to put in. I've still got this bit of a gap here. And I've got this herbaceous plant, which is a, a nettle part, the nettle family. And I've had it soaking in this bucket overnight. So it's really nice and moist. And that is the crucial thing to remember with spring planting. So you want to put your plants in, in a really good tip top condition. I've dug myself a nice hole and look at that plant look at those fantastic roots and I'm just going to tease them out a little bit to get them off to a good start so they start all spreading about and, um, and then I'm going to pop it into the hole with no more finesse than that really pull all the soil around and firm it in you can either do that with your feet or with your hands and then once I've got it in I'm going to give it a final little water with what's left in my bucket. Of course, I have still got some big gaps in my borders and one of the easiest ways of filling them up is with little plants like this. In true Blue Peter fashion, here's a few I've sown earlier. This is a little thing called Sweet Rocket and it will do exactly what it says on the tin and will rock it away and fill my borders with lovely, lovely, sweet smelling mauve and white flowers. It really is one of my favourite annual plants to grow. And as with all of these things, you've got to watch out in spring for the watering. Um, that is absolutely crucial. But I do have an alternative way of filling your borders that's even easier than this. Of course, the easiest way of filling up your borders is simply with seeds. That's the easiest thing you can do. And the, all of these seed varieties you can plant straight into the ground. And actually, it doesn't come easier than that, does it, with gardening? Um, I've got all sorts here. I've got things like borage, which is a fantastic herb, great in your pims, brilliant pollinator as well, wonderful for um, bringing in the bees and things like that. I've got the lovely nigella. I've got nasturtiums, which are fantastic for eating both the flowers and the leaves. They look great in salads and they taste great too. Poppies, who doesn't love poppies? Dill, lovely herb, Californian poppies, and even things like wild rocket. But the one I'm gonna put in today is probably one of my favorite ever plants. It's one of the first things I ever planted as a child. One of the things that got me really into gardening. It's a thing called Nigella, but its common name is the most beautiful name. It's Love in a Mist. And this one is one called Persian Jewels, which is all different colors. And the easy thing about these is that they are quite small seeds, really. Let me just show you. It's just like the nigella that you would put in your bird feeder. And um, the great thing about these is that you can literally sprinkle straight onto the ground and they will just pop up very freely. And the lovely thing about nigellas, if you let it go to seed, go to the lovely seed pods, then you'll never ever be without nigellas again.